if we go to the uh, monitoring dashboard, you should see something like this. This is the overview dashboard. Hi everybody, my name is Attila Latour. I'm a developer advocate with Scylla. And in today's video, I will show you how to uh, use our newest uh, Terraform project to set up uh, a 1 million operations per second uh, using uh, AWS infrastructure and SillaDB Enterprise. So um, the first thing you have to do is clone the 1 million ops demo repository. Uh, this repository contains Terraform configuration files uh, for setting up this demo with SillaDB Cloud and SillaDB Enterprise. If you are interested in SillaDB Cloud, we have a, another video where I go through the process of uh, running the demo using CLDB Cloud. So I will put a link in the description. Um, this video is about CLDB Enterprise. So basically we will be using uh, AWS infrastructure, uh, EC2 instances uh, to set up a CLDB cluster and a CLDB uh, monitoring uh, node as well. Um, so uh, clone this repository first. And then once you clone the repository, um, you will need to open the CLDB Enterprise uh, folder right here. As you can see, there are several Terraform configuration files to set up things like the, the CLDB uh, instances, uh, which will be the CLDB cluster. Then we have a CLDB loaders, which set up instances uh, where, we, where we will make the requests to the database from. Um, uh, and, uh, and and other configuration files. Now, the most important thing uh, first is to open the variables Terraform file and uh, and modify this file because uh, this file contains all the uh, credential informations um, for AWS. So you will need to modify these values. So for example, uh, you need to add the uh, location of your credentials file, the AWS credentials file. You need to provide the, the, the name of the uh, credentials profile. You will need to provide the location of the private key, the, the key pair name, and uh, also if you want to use uh, a different AWS region other than US is 2 this is the place where you need to uh, edit these values. Uh, so these are the uh, values that you uh, definitely have to modify uh, in order to be able to properly authenticate with AWS and use the region uh, that is the, the closest to you or the region that you want to use for this demo. And then um, below these variables, you see uh, uh, several other variables as well. Uh, first, when you run this demo, you probably don't want to modify these settings, like for example, the instance type that is uh, uh, used for the CLDB cluster uh, or the instance uh, type used for the loaders. But maybe uh, after you ran the demo once, you, you might want to modify these variables and kind of you know change the, the hardware or change other settings if you want to do that. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this variables file um, and then uh, come back. All right, so I added the, the proper values in the variables Terraform configuration file. Now the only thing that you need to do is uh, uh, create a Terraform project and, and just basically run Terraform. So we're gonna initialize a new Terraform project using the Terraform uh, init comment. I didn't mention, but you do need um, Terraform uh, installed on your local computer in order to run this demo. Um, then you can run Terraform uh, plan uh, and this will output uh, all the infrastructure elements that Terraform uh, plans to uh, create, things like the uh, EC2 clusters, uh, the VPC uh, and other uh, necessary elements. If it looks okay, then you can go ahead and run Terraform apply. And then it will ask, ask you to, uh, to, to confirm that you are okay with these changes. Uh, just uh, hit yes, um, and then Terraform will start creating the infrastructure elements. So this will take uh, several minutes uh, to finish. Um, so I will just let it run and come back when it's completed. All right, so the process has been completed by Terraform. Uh, one of the outputs uh, by Terraform is actually the URL uh, of the monitoring instance. So if you click on this, 
uh, that will lead you to the uh, monitoring CLDB monitoring dashboard. Uh, now, first, what you can do is uh, make sure that you have the uh, proper uh, instances uh, and machines created by Terraform. So you can look at your AWS uh, console. Um, you should see something similar to this. Obviously, if you have other instances running uh, besides this uh, demo, then you, you will see them, them as well. Uh, but normally you would see uh, a seven uh, DB, uh, sorry, seven uh, AWS EC2 uh, instances created, three loader instances. Uh, so the loader machine is a machine that uh, we make the request from uh, towards uh, the CLDB cluster. Then we have an instance for uh, hosting CLDB monitoring, uh, which I will show you in a second. Then we have the actual CLDB cluster, which in this example is a three node cluster. So we have three EC2 uh, no, uh, instances, machines that are running uh, CLDB enterprise. Uh, now, if we go to the uh, monitoring dashboard, uh, you should see something like this. This is the overview dashboard. Uh, we have several dashboards uh, in this Grafana. You can find the other dashboards here. But this dashboard uh, contains the main metrics. Uh, so you can see things like the, uh, uh, the latencies, uh, and the request per second. And as you can see, we uh, have already reached uh, 1 million requests per second, which was the uh, which was the, the concept behind this demo. Uh, so this is how you set up this, uh, this uh, Terraform uh, demo with CLDB Enterprise. Now, once you are done with this demo, uh, make sure to run Terraform Destroy, um, uh, just to make sure that you are not uh, paying uh, for unnecessary uh, AWS resources. And then once you do that, you can go, uh, and if you want to modify the parameters of this demo, you can go back to the variables Terraform configuration file and play around with the different settings. So you can change the instance type of the, of the CLDB instance, uh, or you can, for example, um, change the, uh, the uh, Cassandra stress variables. So you can uh, have, you can run uh, more uh, requests to our CLDB, uh, and you can also go to the uh, stress folder, which contains the Cassandra stress uh, profile that is used for this demo. So you can go to this uh, file and modify this, uh, and you can uh, try to uh, simulate a similar workload than what you would have uh, in, in your real world uh, environment or in your real world use case. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, variables that you can manipulate. And, and that's all I wanted to show in this demo. I hope it was useful. Uh, see you in the next one.